What is up guys, your boy Joey B here and I'm bringing a video today from a game that's currently in beta um, This is published by IGG if you don't know the people who made like Lords Mobile and Rage of Destiny so pretty big publishers um, and it's the 28th of December this beta launched and I think I've been playing it since the 29th just logging in every day Giving it a little go, see what we're thinking. Uh, because to be honest, I'm kind of looking for a chill game that isn't so much of a a big pocket opener or something that takes like 5 million hours of your life. And I think I've got something for you guys. Uh, I'll say at the start, before we get into what's sort of involved in the game and all the aspects of it, if you want to give this beta a go, I think it's still got at least another couple of weeks. They haven't told us when it's closing yet. Uh, but... I can easily hook you up with a Discord link where you can find the APK to download it. It is through the App Store, but you just need the specific link that's in their Discord channel. So, yeah, bang in the comments below if you want to give this game a go and just have a little bit of chill time. So, anyway, let's get into it. So, guys, when you start playing a game, basically, as any sort of MMO, uh, I would probably class this an MMO ARPG, um, you kind of log in, first time, it's a big download, I won't lie, it's like 5 gigabytes, but uh, that just shows you the vast amount of things that's going to be in this game, it's crazy. And you kind of make your own character, it's pretty basic, as you can see here, I've got a wacky costume on just now, there is lots of cosmetic stuff in this game, I'll get through that in a little bit. Um, but your basic layout is your normal sort of character stats up the side, that's what you're kind of working towards. Your goal is basically to build up equipment, uh, as you can see here, ranging from like level 20 up to level 45. Uh, as you'd expect in these sort of games, farming materials, it doesn't actually take that long. I ain't going to lie. Um, if I really committed and wasn't playing more than one game at a time, I'd probably have most of this up to like the legendary sort of colour. And there is a gacha aspect, which I like. It doesn't, at the moment, in beta, this is not any sort of pay-to-win gacha. Um, this is all stuff that you're earning through a game and you get the currency to buy them, but this is the sort of companions, mounts, however you want to describe them, just things that will assist you in battle. Uh, you whip open some crystals, five at a time, random RNG. I'll show you that, maybe do a couple, because there's a built-in pity system already in the game in beta, so they've thought about this, listened to people's complaints and other sort of gacha areas, and yeah, that's where it is. So... This is your main hub, uh, basically this is where all players that are on your game, uh, I don't see specific server swaps, changes of that, so I think it's all one area, if they're on the game, they're in this area, uh, and this is where the main list of NPCs to go through and do all your material crafting, or to go start on expeditions and explorations and things like that. Uh, the graphics are pretty solid, I think, for a mobile game, right, if you take uh, Monster Hunter, for example, that's out on console, this is very similar in the sort of game genre and type and what you're aiming to do in it. And they've basically designed a game like this for mobile, and for me, it's, it's pretty insane, the amount of effort that's went into this. So yeah, this is your main hub running, as you can see, it's quite a big little area, ain't gonna lie, you can see there's some bridges and that blocked off just now that we haven't quite got to, so yeah, there's obviously more to be added, uh, I don't expect everything uh, that's going to be in the game in the beta. So yeah, this is where you start off, as you can see, your heads up display, it, it looks a bit busy, they've already thought of this, a little button there, disappeared, majority of it, or you can keep it open for quick access. You jump in here. Uh, this is your main menu, all the different things. I ain't going to go through absolutely everything because there is a lot to cover, but the game does well at each stage, showing you what the new things are, what you get from them, and why you should be doing it. So I'll leave that to you. What I will say is they're really good uh, saving in the beta, sending mails out, getting bugs corrected, and good compensation for when server restarts and stuff like that happen. So yeah, there is that. So if we go back out of this, back into the menu. So this is your forge equipment. This is pretty much jumping through. So you'll see you've got your different categories here of hunters that you obviously, when you first start off the game, you'll start off in novice, work up, craft the gear for novices. You go through all the levels for elite hunters. So this is what I'm working on in most of my gear, minus my uh, main weapon. 
And then you've obviously your hunting masters that at the moment stops at level 43. That'll be your max sort of level equipment and better. But uh, yeah, plenty to look forward to. You're enhancing, it's just you'd, you'd expect this if you're used to the MMO sort of RPG familiarization. Like you just jump in and enhance your weapons, level it up. As you can see in the top right up here, that's your 165k, that's your currency that you use. You get loads of it, you can buy loads of it. Uh, the options are absolutely endless in this game. Right. There's an alliance feature. I've made an alliance purposely for this video. I'm going to get rid of this, jump back in. Um, just check in daily, do a big donate, and yeah, pretty much it. You get into your technology area. This is sort of stats tree for your own personal character. So once you're in an alliance, you level up the alliance buildings, and you're basically able just to upgrade these which boost your stats um, does seem like a pretty long process uh, obviously waiting for alliance donations it does involve people actually playing every day getting in donating things like that there is a thing called beast attack i haven't done it yet uh, i might do a separate video whenever i jump in another clan and see how this is all gone uh, the next thing we're going to talk about as i said is the gacha so here you see this is your Retainers, they call them. I just go refer to them as companions and whatnot because that's what I'm used to. Uh, you get a free one every day. The free one does count towards pity. There's different color systems. So blue means it's just going to be a rare. So we can skip the cutscene. Or the shard fragment. Um, we can turn around. So 640 cubes to buy five. Let's buy seven because I had ten. I'll just try to show you what we're talking about here with the different colours. So there you go, purple, so we're guaranteed to get an SR version. So we'll just skip it. There's an R. There's the SR there. Sometimes you get more. You can also get your SSR fragments here. So I've got 30 out of 30 for this one so I could upgrade them. Um, I don't know how close we are to pity. I didn't look. See, this is all just nonsense rares. It's just food. It don't matter, these crystals aren't expensive at all. So as you can see, down the bottom there, recruit 5 out of 10 times, you're guaranteed an SR. So every 10 pulls, you're getting an SR, and every 80 pulls, you're getting an SSR. There's also a little gift thing here, so you jump in, you get this sort of material that you can use in a shop and purchase fragments for a... Uh, uh, a companion see we've got another five there for pulling 30 that's absolutely insane so we'll jump out so that it refreshes and we'll pull this five we'll just skip it straight away see we got the rent i am running him just now because i don't have another ssr at the moment and that'll bring me nicely on to show you what you do so this is your retainer screen jump in this shows you all the retainers you've pulled up and down here so as you can see we got a new one for that sr we can empower them because we've got the fragments for it and there you go you just keep them up all the way up until six stars and then you can get them up max leveled and these are obviously your pretty rare ones that you're chasing through different events and things like that uh, you collect the fragments and you can summon them so this is the one i'm using at the moment so i just got another copy which got changed into frags as you can see you do need a lot but as I said, it's not expensive and it's not hard to obtain. So while we're on that sort of subject, let's jump in. This is your trading hub. So you jump in, uh, auctions for stuff, as it's a beta server, nobody's really selling anything, everyone's using it. Alliance store, uh, you pretty much pre-order this stuff. These are like runes, that's how I see them. Uh, it's called art cores in this game, but yeah, they're pretty much just runes where you obviously boost your stats and stuff like that. You can pre-order them for all the different currencies you get in game, which is pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, nothing on pre-order. Uh, the Kalat Mall. Now, this is where your life is just fantastic. So, your daily growth, as you see at the top there, the Fang O, that's your currency for upgrading gear. You need plenty of that. You can get the SSR retainer insignias, so 10 random ones of any type. And as you can see, the currencies, I haven't really been spending much on it uh, in terms of buying stuff out the store because I've just been enjoying the game so much and I don't think there was really any need. And I've stacked up a massive amount. 
Uh, what I would say is if you are playing, there's no harm in coming in here every day, collecting all your daily stuff, just buy them because I'm, look, you won't run out of currency in this. I don't know if it's maybe just because it's in beta or not, but that's just how it is. Sweep up your dailies. You can even sweep up some of the weekly stuff if you want. This is the stuff that you need to increase your alliance technology that I was showing you about, the little stats tree. That's a currency for the auction house that we were just looking at. See, 10 crystals at 800. I've got, what, 20,000 of the currency up the top right here, the colorite. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> there's no harm in getting some of that. Uh, and obviously, monthly special offers. The mall, you can just buy separate things via currencies. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And as you can see in this here, there is no pay to win aspect. There is nowhere in this game asking me for my money to be able to buy things. You're earning the currency and using it. Whether or not that stands when it goes global, we don't know. But at the moment, it doesn't seem to be a pay to win aspect in this game. It's not possible. If they stick with that, then fantastic. This is just your generic shop. Uh, for all the different areas in the game, as I said, I'm not going to cover them all. They're insane. I will jump in, do a little, little expedition and show you the sort of fighting styles and things like that. But yeah, you can jump in here, spend all your different currencies and get going for it. So... That's the sort of basic shops and stuff like that. All the other stuff you'll learn as you progress. The art calls quickly. There you go. This is like your runes. You get set bonuses, etc. And that level them up. Push your power, as you can see, plus 14,000. Fantastic. Into your bag. 420 spaces. I've bought one backpack. Hence, if you start off with 400 spaces, so you can hold a lot of stuff. Many of these games will start at 104 you to spend to open it, and it gets expensive. So let's jump into some sort of combat and I'll let you see how it looks. Right guys, so what we're going to do is a bounty quest. So each day you can do two bounties where you hunt a monster. So you jump in, accept it, turn auto recruit on and hit a team broadcast and other players can join you or you can invite your friends, alliance members in to help you get through it quite easily. is isn't really necessary. The game isn't all that difficult. Uh, that's something we have brought up, we reckon... There, there is some hard content, like it's super hard, but you can easily outpower it and make it easy. So I think maybe putting more challenging mechanics in some of these fight be better. But yeah, uh, I'll jump back in when we get into the fight. So here we are, somebody's joined. So we just hit start battle, jump in and prepare. Um, I'll just show you the sort of combat system and then I'll run through all the classes and uh, show you what I'm using. So we jump back into it when the fight starts. So here we are, we've loaded into the sort of destination and basically at your feet you'll see this yellow circle surrounding you and on the map we have a big yellow dot telling you exactly where you need to go to fight the monster that you're bounty hunting. So you make your way, this is pretty much the method of transport in the game at the moment. Um, you just jump around in these blue little pads, it's pretty cool. And here we go, so at the moment I'm running what you call the Dual swords, um, absolutely insane <laughs> because well, it's a little bit bugged. We've said you can kind of follow these mobs about uh, just by tapping A, the button you can see me pressing here. That's just your common button. And then you've got what they refer to as the B button, just as a little slash jump. Each class, you can ex put a little ability on it, so I'll shoot little missiles. Uh, big cooldown on these, but yeah, it does some big damage. And then uh, if you look down the bottom right here, I'm going to press this little square and it switches class, and this is my big damage hitter. This is just a big massive hammer <laughs> that will turn around and just smack the snap to bits. Uh, because of my runes, I've got good stagger rate on this sort of fight, so yeah. Really simple combat style. There is no auto as of yet, which is fantastic. So for all you people that hate the games, you just log in, hit auto, and it does it all. Uh, that ain't the sort of thing here. Uh, you will have to manually go around and fight this, which I think is exactly what games should be. The the whole auto thing kind of ruins it for everybody. And yeah, that's pretty much the combat system. And he's just about to die any second now. If we can get a hit on his head. What I would say is I'm not too keen 
on the auto lock system. I don't, I don't think it's that effective. So there you go. Monster defeated, bounty completed. Uh, I'll turn around. This guy was like double my power. He should definitely be MVP, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't affect your rewards in the slightest. It's just a little, oh, look at me. I was the best. So yeah, there you go. And we just back out of that. <laughs> so as I said at the beginning, this is the cosmetic stuff. Um, you can see all the different costumes that are already in the game, and this is only better. It's pretty cool. You get some really sick ones. Uh, obviously following through the history and the different characters that it's shown you through. You get cool little weapon skins. New hairstyles. You can get animations that you want if you want to buy animations and stuff that you can use when you're doing sort of PvP that will be coming or explorations throughout the different areas of the game. And then this is your flight, so not available yet. There is a flight thing, but it isn't manually controlled. It's just a, a what do you call it, an automatic cutscene where you fly into different areas on an exploration. And lastly, as I said, I would show you the different classes. So we jump in here, go to school, and we'll just click confirm here. So you've got hunting sword, force hammer, Fury Blades, Flux Blaster, and Spear. Uh, haven't used them all. The Hammer is big DPS, but is useless against flying enemies. The Hunting Swords, average DPS, good speed, not the fastest at dodge. Um, the Fury Blades, like, they're just absolutely insane. Uh, really fast attacks, really fast dodges, very easy to avoid dying. Flux Blaster is just a big laser weapon, ranged weapon. Don't have to get up close and personal. You can sit back and try and make fights easy for yourselves and let other people run in and get battered about. And the spears, another sort of dash in, attack, dash out sort of thing. And this is your trees for all your different weapons you go down. Uh, so you can interchange them. So as you can see, so if we jump back in quickly before we end the video, jump back in, go to the school. So I'm running Swamp Bloodgivers. That's the Fury Blades. Twin blades. I can happily swap this, change this round, go to confirm, change it to the swamp blaster, and I can go into the school. I'd I, I do all this. I won't do it now, but then as you can look, we go back into the character screen, go into equipment, and I still have the legendary swamp. So once you've got one piece of gear up to the legendary status in that slot, all the other ones take that form when you chop and change, so you're not locked into one main weapon type, you can sw switch about and have fun with it. So yeah, all in all, an absolutely fantastic game, I'm loving it, especially the fact it's only supposed to be better, and it's definitely seeming like it's pretty close to being ready. There's a few bugs in that that they're going to obviously iron out, but yeah, absolutely fantastic, I'd highly recommend jumping in and giving it a try. As I said, in the comments below, let us know and I'll hook you up with a Discord link. So, until next time, peace out.